Since I began journaling a couple years back, I've been playing with exercises to see what would have the biggest impact on my life. And in this video, I thought I would share two exercises that are not these simple, logical, here are my goals, this is my to-do list for today, but rather these are goals that more fall along the lines of the inner path of trusting yourself, trying to figure out what kind of life you want to live, and going deep. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here over at Modern Health Monk. Now, before we jump in, check out the companion download for this video, which is a free journaling worksheet. It's gonna help you figure out how to get your life together, how to figure out what you want, and how to figure out a plan to make that happen. So it's the first link right below this video, and if you download it, you're also gonna get maybe two emails a week on how to use journaling to design your dream life and how I did that. Now, the first journaling exercise is called Susie's Resonance Radar. So in case you guys are not following her, there's a woman named Susie Batiz that is the founder of the company Poopery, like the bathroom spray you spray in your toilet. Susie's story is very interesting because she talks about someone who had attempted suicide, had been married multiple times, and then eventually her business went bankrupt. I think she was maybe her late 30s or early 40s, and then ultimately concluded that she was the worst entrepreneur that ever existed. And after spending a few years healing, she decided she was never gonna be an entrepreneur again. She was only gonna commit her life to whatever made her feel alive internally. Go figure, the next business she built was Poopery, and now she's one of Forbes' richest women. But what is fascinating is not that part of the story. What is fascinating to me is the way she lives her life. And I joined one of her programs and also spoke to her personally for a call. And one of the things that she said in her program was that these days, the only thing that dictates her life is whether things feel resonant or dissonant. The resonant side is all about tracking the things that light you up and the things that make you feel an increase in energy. So these are the things that if you had $100 million, you would wake up and just do that every day. Maybe you sleep in, you go to a coffee shop, you read a book, there's a certain kind of work that you would do regardless of the money, etc. But in this exercise, what I do every day is I actually sit down and write down everything on my list for the day. And all I do is write down, do I want to be doing this? Right? I put a check mark or an X and it purely is questioning, what am I really excited about? In other words, if right now I could take the day off, what do I actually want to be doing in every moment? And I found this was really, really, really interesting because number one, very quickly you learn whether or not your work is something you actually want to be doing or not. And maybe that's not really a big revelation to you because it's pretty clear, but you also learn little things like, well, what is your perfect day? You know, for a lot of us, we don't need to have millions of dollars or a hundred million dollars to have your perfect day. Your Saturday can range wildly from getting brunch with friends to doing a salsa class to going to the beach or the mountains or just sleeping. And really the point of this exercise is that it trains this faculty to recognize, is this something aligned with what I really want? Or is this something aligned with what I think I should want? So the exercise is honestly really fun for this because all you do with a journal is every single day, you track what you do and then write down, do I wanna be doing this or do I not want to be doing this? And from there, just tracking every day, what are your peak moments? What are your peak experiences? And what do you actually like doing? So the beginning of the day, I do the resonance radar from Susie and I'm thinking, what do I most wanna be doing right now? Like, what do I actually want to do today? And then I make sure my life has more of that. And as I've done that, my life has become a lot happier and ironically, a lot more successful. The second exercise I call the magic path of intuition. And this is based on a book by Florence Shin, who's a woman from the 1800s that was a Christian mystic and has a book called The Magic Path of Intuition. And she has this great quote that intuition does not explain the way, it merely points the way. And what prompted this exercise was that I was reflecting on my life and I was just thinking about how finding work I loved and going on good dates and bad dates and meeting friends that eventually turned out to be bad apples. All of these scenarios at the beginning, there was a clear gut feeling that I ignored. There were dates that I went on with women that were attractive to me, but my gut felt off and I was trying to discourage it from talking because of whatever, she was beautiful or interesting or whatever, but something just didn't feel right. And then eventually it blew up in a certain way or <clears throat> hanging out with a friend and there was some, a funky gut feeling those first times we hung out and I just tried to push it away. And then eventually that friendship didn't work out. And all of these scenarios always had a gut feeling at the beginning. And so now I've learned to trust that feeling and not try to explain 
or understand why it thinks that way, but just to understand that it does and that it is true. And so what I do every morning is I write down, what is my gut saying? What if I trusted that feeling in every moment, just as a thought experiment, what would happen? And interesting things came up. For example, it told me to change jobs, which I did. It told me to go back to school to study this thing I was always passionate about at 29 for four years, which I did. It told me to trust this feeling on a date and not trust that feeling on a date, which I did. It told me to be careful with his friendship because that person has a lot of personal issues, which I did. So all of these things started happening and it made my life change in such a fundamental way because I started noticing that all these cool experiences were happening and all these synchronicities were happening. You know, sometimes someone just pops in your head and you reach out and they were thinking about you. Sometimes as an entrepreneur, I'll just take Fridays off and do something other than what I've planned. And I'll have found a really, really fun or fulfilling ritual that I want to do on Fridays now instead of what I normally had planned. Or sometimes I just meet someone. I'm like, oh, that would be cool. We have a lot in common, but I don't know. But then I reach out and then you know, a new best friend is formed, a new best friendship. This exercise is really simple after you begin retraining the ability to feel those gut feelings. So this exercise is as simple as, what does my gut say? And it could be as big as, I need to move cities. I need to change careers. I'm on the right path. I'm not on the right path. This relationship is probably the one for me. This one is not the one for me, even though I've been telling myself it is. Maybe I should eat a little bit differently to feel better, or I should do something different to work on that illness or that health problem or my sleep. And as I've uncovered these little intuitive hunches, you know, for me, I just call it hunches, right? What are my hunches for the day? You know, a Friday, I want to do that. A Saturday, I want to stop just doing so much and I want to take it easy and just go for hikes. Maybe that's what I need. As you begin to unpack these things, you'll start to piece together a lot of very interesting experiences in life, but they come from your gut which is not something I will explain, but it'll just tell you what to do. So try these two exercises. They've made the biggest difference in my life, way more than some kind of goal setting or checklist exercise, because this is the big philosophy of life. And if you do these two things, more of what you love, more of what your gut says, you're gonna feel a hell of a lot better in life. And also some pretty cool magical stuff might happen. So it's worth a shot, check it out. The journaling worksheet that I've linked to below this video will help you begin doing some of these exercises and training those faculties. But otherwise, check it out, download it, and I have two other related videos for you right there.